Right, so after a lot of faffing about, I managed to get this chain tensioner on without taking the body off. I was going to use this one. Um, there we go. But I, I just couldn't get that one to work. So I'm going to have to fiddle around with that a little bit more. Uh, maybe just put these bits on the existing tensioner at a later, but I'll worry about that at a later date. So the chain tensioner is back on. Next step, I've just taken the wheel off, uh, replace the inner tube, pump everything up, and then, as long as I've got a charged battery, uh, I shall take it down to polling station and do my voting. Oh, me being me, I haven't got any of the right tools here, so end of a fork as a tie right. So now I'll get this off, it is the original. You can see that original Sinclair tyres. They are starting to crack a bit, but because uh, the tyres themselves don't have to be airtight, um, not a major problem. Right, let's get the rest of it off and get the inner tube in. Right, inner tube out, and there is the offending article. I think it's a bit beyond a patch. <laughs> Tyre's now on, as you can see. It's not twisted or anything, the inner tube's not twisted inside at all. So what I shall now do is connect my pump up to a 12 volt power supply and uh, put some air in it. There we go, connect it up to a 12 volt power supply. And away we go. Now we have plenty of air in it. Back on it goes. Work it into the brakes, which I can't really do one-handed. And uh, yeah, so the wheel's back in place, all nicely tight. I've ensured that this is right down the bottom of the opening in the forks. And just made sure the brakes line up with the wheel and not hitting the tyre. Put the cover back on, put a battery on, we're good to go. So here we are, off down to Poland Station.